you gonna be my girl? Three, turn my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. You look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Good morning, that's funny. Fantastic. All right, well, don't start this call or any call or any morning that we can walk out day by day and feel really good. <laughs> Good morning, challengers, and welcome to your third, believe it or not, your third Miracle Monday. How do you guys feel about that? Woo! Woo! Okay, well, I'll, I'm going to start with a tiny apology here, or a big apology. Depends how you look at it. Um, today's email got sent late, so a lot of people are just joining in right now. So forgive me for that bit of lateness. We'll make sure that um, the call is effective enough so that you actually don't miss out on any of the important material that was supposed to be here. Plus, you got you guys got to catch up a little bit. Last night we had a mastermind in Chicago. Just a moment. There's someone on the phone who I have to mute. I'm really sorry. Okay, so last night we had a beautiful, amazing mastermind experience in Chicago, and some of you guys were there, yeah. and I know it kept you up late, but how are you guys feeling this morning? Awesome, unbelievably. <laughs> amazing. amazing. It was such a pleasure to be there and meet you guys and um, get to share the experience of masterminding with you, learn about you your stories and all that good stuff. So let's acknowledge those people who drove six hours in Andrea's case or, you know, really went out of their way to help out in Amy's case or Pamela that was there just shared from her heart and inspired us all. It's uh, Ratish who I can't see. So <laughs> I didn't even notice you were here. It's the lighting, it's the lighting in your <laughs> in your room. And uh, Ratish that was there and stayed till the very, very end. <laughs> Literal last person who even walked me back to the hotel. So let's give it up for these amazing people who went out of their way to get the most out of I Inspire so that they can share it with you guys and make it even better of an experience for you. Right, guys? Isn't that yeah. why you do it? Yeah. Yes. So let's give it up for them. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yes, yes. I really acknowledge you, you guys and your leadership and your amazingness. I am uh, just wanting to give you one update. If you see um, lots of alcohol behind me, <laughs> I'm actually at a hotel room, so <laughs> I'm not into uh, all of that stuff. Just want to make it clear to you guys starting this morning off by looking at plenty of bottles of all kinds of alcoholic drinks over here. Um, and uh, yeah, and there's even a, a horse, I think it's called, donkey, <laughs> what do you call it, right? A horse? A pommel horse, we thought it was. Yeah. A what? One of those gymnastic horses oh. things. Oh, yeah, a, just... a pommel horse? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I joked around and told the people who were here yesterday that, you know, I have this thing that I have to make sure that um, they order a, what's it called, pommel horse? Um, to, okay, to every place I go. <laughs> I just need one in my room for my morning. It's my part of my morning, my miracle morning ritual. <laughs> Jump out of bed, 
on to that and <laughs> do some flips. <laughs> um yeah well, okay. I, you know, y'all, we could sell tickets to that i know <laughs> <laughs> we'll write another book that's that's uh, miracle morning <clears throat> 2.0 anyway so back to uh seriousness now that we've kind of taken some time to break the ice and we have uh more people on welcome everybody who joined us um let's just welcome everybody real quick by name and just give a huge round of applause to everybody we've got amy here we got Grace. Pamela's in the house. Ratish. Ratish. Andrea. Andrea. Yay. Toby's here. Toby's in the house. Can you guys hear me? I <laughs> Toby! Woo! We got Heather! Hey! Karen Burkamp is here! Here he is! Yeah. Got Anita! Hey, yay! Woo-hoo. Don't forget Millie! Millie! Yay. Now we got some phone people who's on the phone this morning. Uh, we've got 2385. I'm going to unmute you so you can present yourself. Who's 2385? Hey, it's Christine, everybody. Good morning. Christine's in the house. Woo! Christine! Yes, yes. We've got 4809. 4809. Jackie. It's Jackie, everyone. Woo! Jackie's here. Woo! Yes, we've got 5096. That's Lisa, that's me. Lisa is mm-hmm. in the house. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Got 8647. Woo! Was that Al? Because I saw him message us. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's Al. <laughs> yes, we've got some incredible people here that represent, and those who are not here. Um, let's give it up for them because they'll be watching this recording. Give it up for everyone who didn't make it to this call, but is out there watching us. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I'll do my very best to upload this call shortly so that those who missed out can catch up before I get into crazy land with all the events going on here. So good morning. I want to congratulate you guys for showing up to this call, but more than that, for showing up to your life, for showing up to this challenge, for challenging yourselves every single day. And I know it's challenging. Some mornings you succeed more and some mornings you succeed less. And a lot of you guys feel behind or felt behind. And it's really the interpretation and the meaning that you give it. So today I'm going to start by saying, you know, it's week three. Now you know it's really not about being perfect. It really isn't. It's not about having to master your miracle morning by week three of your life. It's about finding a way to improve your mornings every single day and make today better than yesterday. It's about finding a construct that works for you so that you could slowly integrate it into your day and make it bigger and better. Uh, And for some of you overachievers, yes, you went out of your way and completely extremely change your miracle morning, but maybe you might have a plateau at some, some point in the future, and that'll be okay too. Again, it's not about being perfect, but it's about perfecting your mornings. So this is really kind of a sigh of relief I want you guys to take for a moment, like literally. <sighs> that this is where you're at. This is where you're at, okay? Whether you're up, you're down, wherever you are, remember the roller coaster we were talking about? Three weeks in, a little more even, (laughs) three weeks in, we're on whatever area of the roller coaster we're on, and that's perfect. That's exactly where we should be in order to work on the exact improvements that we are meant to work on. However, however, it doesn't mean you should stop Um, challenging yourself. It doesn't mean that we should kind of be easy on ourselves and forget all about this and just say, oh, so I don't have to do anything. Wow, I could see Ratish. You look great. Hi. Uh, 
<laughs> so, um, so yeah, it doesn't mean we don't have to do anything about it. What it does mean is that we need to assess what exactly it is that we can move, take, what the actions are that we can take to move forward, okay? And today, I have a promise for you guys. If you take on this week's challenges and this week's assignments, it doesn't matter how well you've been doing so far on your miracle morning, it doesn't matter where you are on your roller coaster, you still have a chance to build something out of this challenge that's going to extremely improve your life and make a huge difference for you, your goals, and what you care about. It doesn't matter where you are. And I'm specifically saying this and hoping that those at home will be playing this back who didn't show up because maybe they feel like they're behind. I know you're out there. Or those people who um, you know, just have some judgments and assessments about where they are still can really make this entire challenge worth their time and effort and completely convert what they've experienced so far into what they have wanted to experience throughout this whole challenge. How do you guys feel about hearing that and processing that and knowing that? Really good. It's <laughs> a good thing to have that brain. Okay, great. So I want you to feel great, but that's just a moment before you're going to feel something else. <laughs> Because a lot of things are going to come up here today on what we're planning for this week. So a moment before I jump into that, and then we open this up for shares, um, I want to take, a chance to, to take a moment to, first of all, go over some things that we've created so far and get a chance to look back and assess and measure where we, were, we, where we are at today. So let's begin by just closing your eyes for a moment, wherever you are, unless you're driving. I don't know if some phone people here are driving. I want you to take a moment to just close your eyes wherever you are and concentrate on your breath. Allow yourself to inhale slowly through your nose. Oops. And exhale slowly, even slower through your mouth. Allow yourself to make sure that you're breathing through your abdomen. Connect into yourself. And I want you to take a journey back into all the things that you've been through from the first day of your challenge. Go back to the very first day. What were you excited about? What did you feel? What did you hope for? Think about it, see it, feel it inside your body, that excitement, that momentum. Rebuild it, make it happen right now. What were you hoping you could accomplish on this challenge? What was important to you? Was it meeting the right people? Was it waking up early? Was it accomplishing something in your life? Was it just being an environment that inspired you every day? Was it getting back to something you used to do and you forgot? Bring yourself back to those hopes, those dreams. your first I Inspire Miracle Morning Monday and you met everyone on this call or you watch back the replay, you read the first email, you got an assignment, you got to look into your life. What was it like to meet everyone and to begin experiencing this challenge and all the opportunities that it gives you? What was it like to look into your life and learn about how you can begin your morning a little earlier, change it up. Was it hard? Was it easy? Did you start it off right away? Did it take you some time? And 
look at the second week. We knew Hal Elrod was going to be there. Miracle Monday with Hal. We get to hop on. We get to see Hal and learn from him. We get accountability buddy options. We get to meet here again. Where are you? Do you feel good about where you're at? You're at? Do you feel challenged by where you're at? What are you hoping for now? Where is your focus? Look at the past week and what you've accomplished. Did you lose momentum? Did you get lost in all of it? Did you come up with excuses about where or how well you're doing? Or did you really catch up with everything? Did you meet incredible people? Did you work with your accountability? Take a deep breath in to your heart and tell yourselves, this is it and it's perfect. This is my experience and it's perfect. It's perfect with everything it is and with everything it's not. And now go back and I want you to pick three things that really worked for you this, these past two, two weeks, past three weeks almost. What really worked for you on this challenge? Pick three things. Was it how you showed up? Was it how you woke up? Was it what you did for others? Was it that you didn't feel bad about what you didn't accomplish? Was it that you forgave yourself and moved on? What was it? Three wins. Three wins that you can think about. Take a deep breath in and acknowledge yourself for these three wins, for who you were to create them, for showing up, for being a part of this. Lock them into your heart. Now go back and look at three things that you could have done better, three things that didn't work as well as you'd like them to. One by one, just pick three things, not in order to judge yourself, yourself but where could you really make a difference now? Three things, three areas. Can you wake up earlier? Can you use an accountability buddy better? Can you ask for help? Can you go back and, and do some of the work you didn't do that seemed like could make a difference for you? Could you just listen in and start today? Think of those things that didn't work for you and where they relate to your way of being. Is it something that is constantly coming up in your life in other areas? And if so, where? And how would improving it this week make a difference in your life, in other areas of your life, in your way of being and how you are about different things? We're all simply living in patterns in our lives, so there's nothing wrong that we're doing, but we want a chance to really understand where we can make a difference, how we can move forward. If you had to pick three takeaways from the challenge so far, what would those be? Pick your first takeaway, something that you got out of this experience, out of joining, out of being here. What's one thing you've got? Smile as you witness it and pick another thing. And just think about what it is that you really truly accomplished can take away or got out of this challenge. Smile.
smile and lock it in. And pick one more thing, one more thing you could take away, take with you that you learned about yourself or others or gained. You didn't have it before. Lock it into your heart and acknowledge yourself. Spread your arms out wide and allow them to wrap around yourself, giving yourself a huge hug. And remembering to thank you for being here, to thank you for taking this on. Just imagine looking in the mirror and giving yourself this hug and just say thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for doing what you do for yourself and for others. And thank you for everything that you haven't accomplished yet, but you're about to, and you still can. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I love you. I love you. Take another deep breath in. You can let go of your hug. And as you exhale, just think of one thing that you really want to accomplish still on this challenge for yourself. It doesn't have to be big. It can be something really small that will make a difference for you. What's an area you can focus on that really matters, that inspires you to take as kind of a momentum sparks that you can use to build up momentum towards the rest of this challenge at least as much as you had in the very beginning. The last push, the biggest push. Remind yourself that all you need is within you now. All I need is within me now. And in fact, it's already done, that thing I want. It's already written, it's already done. I'm simply inviting it into my life. And it's all about the process. It's all about appreciating it. It's all about what's on the way. And here I am on the way. And it's the best. Take one more deep breath in. Lock this determination, this excitement into your heart. Allow it to build within. And as you exhale, open your eyes, go back here to this time and space. Yes, yes. And take a moment to just enjoy yourself and give it up for you and everybody here with us that's going to make, rock this challenge and make their dreams happen. Give it up for everyone. <laughs> Yes, give it up for you! feeling after that <laughs> breathe focused amazing okay I want one or two quick shares and then I'll tell you what your exercise is so who wants to share something that opened up for them uh, throughout this experience right now going back and doing this after action kind of review in your head and getting to experience what you've accomplished what you where you could still Kind of work to to move forward 
and all that good stuff. Who wants to volunteer to share their experience with others? By the way, whether it's challenging or not, there is something inspiring that you can take away and share here. So I encourage vulnerability as well. And let me unmute some people I muted, just a sec. Uh, you guys can use the raise hand function. You can raise your real hand, or you could just speak up. But I challenge you all to share. So I want to see all the hands, all the hands up in the air. Come on. <laughs> all right, cool. We've got Amy in the house. Let's give it up for Amy for wanting to share first. Woo! 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 Oh. Um, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've bawled in front of everybody like this. Um, probably the most outstanding thing is just in, intense gratitude and it happens on a regular basis. And I've always thought of myself as a very grateful person. Uh, but this is compounded and the visualization of what, um, I am manifesting and I, I don't even know how to put it into words right now, but I just, um, the tears come from such an intense place of gratitude and real a lot of excitement as to what I know um, I'm going to be able to give even more. So um, I would just, again, want to encourage everybody to keep giving back and contributing because um, I think that's the most valuable place that we can live from. So thank you. Good morning. I love you all. Yes, who's inspired by Amy and wants to show her some love, you guys. Give it up for Amy. Woo! We love you, Amy. Woo! Amy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we do extremely love you and I acknowledge you and thank you so much for who you are, um, for I Inspire, for people in your life and for all that you're accomplishing just by really being and contributing. I really think that's a symbol for what is possible here on this challenge and it's amazing who else wants to share here this morning can you guys hear me by the way because i just got a the loss of connection kind of thing we're in slow-mo yeah yeah You're okay okay i'm sorry okay let me know if you guys don't hear me as well is it back now is it okay yep good yeah you're good Okay, awesome, great. So let's get in another share. You phone people can share as well. Who wants to share? Or doesn't want hey, to share? This is Christine. Yes, I let's can share. Begin. Let's begin with Christine and then Grace. It's Christine, Woo. you guys. Hi, guys. Woo! I'm so Woo. happy to be here. This is amazing. Um, I'll tell you my big um, amazing thing that happened yesterday, and it's a huge one for me. It's hard for me to talk, believe it or not. <laughs> and to get on the calls, I always feel this resistance. And in my head, always what comes up is, you're so busy, you've got all this stuff to do, you'll just listen to the recording. Well, I'm the type of girl who makes the time to get on the call. And that's huge for me. I'm not listening to a recording, I'm here live. Um, and last night we had a call in, um, for, for uh, an event I'm going to this weekend. And I was going through all this resistance. My neck hurts. I'm tired. It was a long day. I'm missing my dad because it was Father's Day, blah, 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 blah. And I said, no, I'm the type of girl who gets on the call. And I got on the call. And it wow. was so fantastic because that one act means everything changes. And that's because of this Miracle Morning thing. So thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Wow. Have a great day. I'm going to mute myself because I'm doing other stuff in the background. Have a I great day. That's amazing. Yes. Who's inspired by Christine? Christine, you inspire. That's awesome. And don't you love you guys that, you know, everyone has their own little wins. Like it's for everybody. It, it's a different meaning. For some people, it's easier to get on these calls and it's a given. And for other people, that's a huge thing. And they start applying it in their lives. And it's beautiful that you can see how this benefits other areas of your life because that's what this challenge is really about. You know, we're playing a game here, but what we want it is to really produce results for us in every area of our life. And I'm so happy and proud to hear that that's working for you. Thank you so much, Christine. You rock. All right, Grace. Good morning. So just, you know, when we were doing the exercise, um, 
I mean, Yali, I mean, you know, I almost didn't enroll. I mean, I was like right there Sunday night and I, I got to give kudos to Becky because I saw something in her Facebook post or something that went out and I'm like, what is that? You know? And so I got to tell you of all the things I've ever done in my life to change. I mean, I, I've been to UPW and I've done pathways and I've done all these things to try to change. Nothing has had such a profound and immediate effect on my life for change never and I am just starting to dream again and get up and be excited and I just got to tell you Yali I'm so I'm just so thrilled to be on the on the challenge and I can't wait I know you're starting another challenge after this that I can't wait to be a part of I'm learning great things about an accountability buddy and I'm just you know, I'm just in, I'm just in awe of what this challenge done in such a short period of time. Wow. Thanks. Wow. That's amazing and extremely inspiring. You guys, um, Grace, I'm just so proud and honored. Let's give it up for Grace. Huge round of applause. Woo! Grace. Woo! Yes. Woo! Yes, and you can double those applause in your mind because some people are muted. <laughs> So it's huge. Let's get in one more share, and um, it could be anywhere on this challenge. We got Heather McDonald. Heather, I'm excited to hear you. Let's give it up for Heather. Woo, Heather. Woo, Heather. One of the things I've noticed that's really been amazing to me is, you know, it's great when you have all these tools that are working for you, and you're in the flow, and it's going really well. But one of the things that I've noticed is when it's been hard, like in the mornings when I don't want to get up and something will trigger, like, I'm like, okay, just do the thing, like, go brush your teeth. Like, that's something that simple. Like, he says, you know, get up, just brush your teeth right away and move from, like, the zero to the one or the one to the two. And I'll just be like, okay, I'm going to go brush my teeth. I got just do it. Don't think about it. And that simple step will move me to, like, a connection to this group of people. And I don't, I go from like feeling like I'm alone, I'm tired, I don't want to, and I can't do it. Like I can't even go brush my teeth, it's too hard, I, I, I just can't do it, to somehow I get connected to this whole group of people. And I'm like not alone anymore, and I'm not brushing my teeth by myself, and I'm connected to like the energy of all these people here, and I've got the support of everyone behind me going, you can do this, you can get out of bed, you can start the day and you can do whatever you want and to me that's incredible because then that changes my whole shift in thinking and it's not not just about brushing my teeth anymore it's about changing my whole shift of my mind for the day and that to me has been amazing because it's all about there's the cat <laughs> it's all about that whole shift in thinking and it's about not just me thinking it from reading a book alone it's about the power of the group and that support that I literally feel as soon as I make that shift and that connection in the morning. And I think that's what's so incredible about doing a challenge with a group of people versus just reading a self-development book on my own. And I have so much gratitude for being part of this challenge. And I've done, I think I've done all the challenges with Yali so far, so I'm yeah. really glad. I did not miss this one and I appreciate Yali for uh, reaching out and uh, help me get on this one. So, uh, and it's, it's been really, really great for me. It's just helped me give me a lift at this time when I really needed it. And I didn't even realize I needed it until it started. So wow. thank you all for helping me make this June really special and, and contributing to my month and just making it better. So thank you. You're all amazing. Thank you wow. for helping me brush my yeah. <laughs> we helped her brush her teeth, you guys. Yeah. Woo! Well, first of all, everybody, anybody who kisses you, I want rights for why your mouth smells amazing. <laughs> it tastes amazing. Yeah. Um, thank you, Heather. You know, that means the world to me. It really does. And it's really those small steps that make the biggest difference. And I love, love, love the analogy of like, <clears throat> sorry, from going from being alone, which is really the state we're at when we wake up to suddenly belonging to something, to this movement, to this challenge, to a group of people, to accountability. And it's so exciting to hear 
how that benefits um, you, your life, your month, your teeth, all these great things. And uh, it's just awesome. I, I love having you here. Double round of applause for Heather. Woo! Rock. Awesome, you guys. All right. So now that we've gone over this and we've did this, done this exercise, it's going to be easier for you guys to do your first exercise after this call, which is going to be the after action review, where you really get to write down the things you saw and learn from them and take some th take so takeaways from that. Like maybe you'll see some patterns in your behavior, you know, maybe you, your momentum drops as it usually does. Maybe there are things that you get excited about you don't do. Maybe, um, you are perfectionist, but too much. And it comes instead of other things that you're doing, whatever it is, um, uh, you're going to get a chance to go back and, and assess what worked for you and up until now, what didn't work and what are the things you really want to focus on and, and take away from this challenge so that you can make some progress that you haven't made so far during the rest of this challenge. And that's going to be really exciting for you to look at those things that you haven't yet touched on that you can focus on that really make the difference to rock the end of this challenge. Now, here's the next level of this, and then we'll run right into shares. I just know that this is valuable for you, and this is what this week is all about. Up until now, we've kind of played a game, right? Like, we got exercises, we did them, homework, you know, we watched a recording or we hopped onto a call, we spoke to our accountability buddy. It's all very nice and happy and lovely and, yeah, I won't say easy because it wasn't, but it was all very friendly. And this week, if you really want to make a difference for yourself in this challenge, I'm going to trust that you've already gotten to a place where you're on this challenge, you, you know and have experienced this challenge, and now you're ready to take it 100 steps forward. And I, I mean 100. And this is where your accountabilities really come into play. Your accountability buddies, accountabilities, accountability buddies come into play and all the accountability of this group in general. And we're going to be introduced to masterminds as well soon on this challenge. So all these things really come into play on what we're beginning this week. And that is <clears throat> these words. You can write them down in big block letters so that you get yourself ready. It's called get out of your comfort zone. And I want you to put some exclamation points right after that so that it'll be screaming in your face when you look at that paper. So wherever you are and whatever you've done, this week is about getting out of your comfort zone and taking a hundred steps forward. And you're going to get an exercise that will allow you to look forward and say to yourself, look at all these areas of your life that we've been working on up until now, right? All the areas that you've looked at and kind of created visions for and affirmations for. Those are the areas of your life you're going to get a chance to go back and for each area, think of, it doesn't have to be your perfect goal, but what's that one step forward that's going to take you out of your comfort zone and feel like you're scared to death, but you know is in line with where you want to go or who you want to be in that area. So if it's a relationship and you're not in one, it could be something very uncomfortable in, in dating or, or going out there and putting yourself out there. It's signing up to that website you didn't want to sign up with. It's talking to that person you didn't want to. It's going and approaching that person you never told that you love, okay? Um, if it's in your relationship that exists already, how can you completely get out of your comfort zone and something that you know supports bringing uh, maybe your passion to your next level? Maybe you could uh, spark up your sex life in a really interesting way. <laughs> and suddenly your partner will be like, I like this challenge you're on. Or maybe it's um, something else that you see could really benefit, make a shift for you guys in your relationship. I would do the same in every area of your life so that there is one thing you can do in the next two weeks or until the end of this month that will absolutely radically get you out of your comfort zone 
you will tell these things to your accountability partner. So they keep you accountable. If you don't have one, you find someone in your life that's going to keep you accountable or you hop on our group and you find someone who can do it. If you really can't find one, write me, we'll find a solution. But you have someone else involved because it's truly important. You will not really truly get out of your comfort zone in every area unless you have someone there that's accountable. And what they will do for you and you will do for you and help them out in doing is schedule it. You're going to schedule exactly when and how you're getting out of your comfort zone and it's going to be written down. And more excitedly, you're going to send me a copy. <laughs> because when I keep you accountable, <laughs> you're in trouble, a good kind of trouble that you really want. So um, that's what this week is all about. It's really taking things out of where we are at, our box of like accomplishments, abilities, and going out of our abilities into the extraordinary into whatever it is that we're not used to doing in our lives. Now, I want you to unmute yourself and take yourself out of your comfort zone right here, right now, and tell me how you really feel <laughs> about that. Make the noise that it makes you feel. It could be happy, sad, scared, whatever it is. Make that noise. <laughs> Okay, now take it to the extreme. Whatever it is you think or feel, be theatrical about it. Take it one notch bigger. Make it like use your whole body. Go and scream it. Do it all around with it. Just do it. Come on. Come on. Make sure that you do the exercises this week, no matter how, what you have to do for it, because this could mean your whole challenge. Can you guys already kind of see that this could mean your whole challenge? That this could be a real factor in where you could get this to? Great. And the next week is going to be about con uh, contribution and others and how you can expand beyond yourself. So the more you expand yourself to like this week, the more you'll be able to contribute to others in the next week and after this challenge. So I'm excited for you guys for this week and I want to spend the rest of the time we have here on the call on allowing you guys to share. You can share whatever opened up for you today or you can share how this week has been. I really want to hear if you guys have any questions, any experiences, any complaints. I want you to already get out of your comfort zone right here right now and tell me what you're scared of or what didn't work or if you have a vent to vent here, whatever that is, really bring it on to this base here and remember that you're contributing not only to the people here on this call because a lot couldn't make it here today but to those watching later um, that, that you know may even replay this in a year to just remind themselves how they can really get something more for their lives so who wants to be that contributor and step up and share um, and and ask questions or anything like that Who, who doesn't want to share? Hey, Ollie, this is Toby. Can you hear me? So I'm not going to share. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, no, because here everybody who doesn't want to share is the one who should be sharing. But let's start with Toby. Okay. Exactly. So, Toby, it's Toby, you guys. All right. So, so I had a, a question first. 
you said to pick some areas. Are we supposed to pick all the areas or pick one area that we're going to work on and make a commitment with our uh, accountability buddy and then report to you what our schedule is? Well, you're totally going to see this exercise in your email, um, but okay. it's, but you can, no, but you can already kind of get your mind wrapped around it. It's going to be in every area. Okay. And it's important to me that, you know, when you think of the wheel of life that you did on the first week, that you remember that some areas are more important for you to focus on and some areas, uh, you know, may just come naturally. So make sure that the things that really get you out of your comfort zone are in those areas that you really care about. And it naturally will happen that way. And in those areas of your life that maybe it's working, maybe you're super friendly and social and, you know, you don't really need anything in that area. Just a sec, there's some noise. Oh, it might be for me too, but it's okay. Um, so, so maybe in that area, you can just give yourself a small getting out of your comfort zone. Or you can ask those friends that you have. You can say, hey, what do you guys think could be my next level in this uh, category? Like, what would you not expect to see me doing, but you think would enhance who I am and where I want to go? And learn about yourself in that process and take that step. And again, same thing, family, right? You can ask your kids, like, what would you not expect your dad to do but would really make a difference in our relationship? Like, when's the last time you asked that? Uh, or your parents or whatever. Um, so this is kind of a glimpse into what's possible this week. And I want your mind to already think in that way. Like if you really don't know how to get into your comforts, out of your comfort zone in a certain category, ask other people. And you'll be surprised at what people say. And I promise you it'll already be kind of a, a learning experience for you. Does that answer your question, Toby? It does indeed. Thank you, Yali. Cool. I hope you're excited about it. I am. We'll have to have a phone call later, Becky. <laughs> so Becky's your accountability buddy. Yes. She is indeed. I, I'm super excited for you and can't wait to see the results. And let's see, we've got some chat shares here. So first of all, did we give it up for Toby? Give it up for Toby, you guys. Woo! Woo! Who's excited to see him rock this? I am. <laughs> Good job, me too. Me too. Completely. All right. Let's see what the shares are right over here. Um, Heather says this is really scary, but probably so good. <laughs> Do you want to share in two words what you kind of see that makes you feel scared or what makes you feel excited but scared at the same time? Is there anything that like you could get specific on just so we feel you? Oh, wait, you're muted. Let me unmute you. Got it. Oh, are you t you're talking to me, Yali? Yeah, yeah. You wrote yeah. that you're, that it's scary, but probably good. Oh, yeah. So I mean, I, think about one thing that's kind of scary or one area of your life that's kind of scary. Um, anything that's outside my routine is generally terrifying. <laughs> Uh, like going to a different grocery store is <laughs> terrifying, um, you know, anything. So, like, I it's very easy to find anything outside of my comfort zone. It's not hard to find. Like, going to, you know, I have a lot of anxiety, so it's very easy to find stuff outside of my comfort zone. Um, but I know that the best things are always outside the comfort zone, too. Like, my, my greatest experiences are always when I test that. But it's also causes like the most stress for sure. So like I went with this weekend, I went with Tanya to a place you're very familiar with, Mont Tremblant. So Ooh, we went without me? Yeah, well, I went without you this time. But um, <laughs> and Kiefer Sutherland was playing there. Oh wow! And he has a band, and he's it was really impressive because he was he's following his dream of being a musician, and honestly, he's not really strong yet as a musician. But I was impressed because he's following his dream and you could tell he was nervous. You could tell he doesn't have a lot of stage experience as a musician, but he was out there following his dream. But like he's, I've had this, you know, I've been an ultra Kiefer fan for a long time, but I almost let my fear of like leaving my apartment, leaving my comfort zone, stop me from going to see him. And, uh, you know, but I was like, you know, it's important to try new things. It's important to get out. You've got to try. You've got to just trust in your friends. You've got to trust that you know, 
know, going into a public place is going to be okay. <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, I, I got myself prepped, you know, I got out there and it was just the most amazing time. And, um, you know, I know logically that getting, you know, it's important to, the magic is outside the comfort zone, but it still takes an enormous amount of work sometimes to, to, to break through those barriers. It takes an enormous amount of courage and work and planning and just like screw everything kind of mentality. Be like, screw you anxiety, or screw you logic, or like the, not logic, but the um, your kind of brain going, well, I should get my rest and I should stay home and clean and I should, you know, do my, you know, chores here yeah. and all this the stuff that talks you out of going for the magical moment. And, and who can relate here with Heather? I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily anxiety or the same fears, but who has comfort around certain areas of their life and they build kind of almost a safe haven where like if they follow the ritual and do their thing and stay in the same place, they know they're safe and, you know, they don't want to get out of that. But just listening to her and thinking about, you know, the effort of getting out of that box and doing it anyway is going to produce results in your life. And it's scary and fun at the same way. Who can relate? Yeah. Yeah, well, I got to spend three, like three hours, like a foot away from Kiefer Sutherland. And I'm like, this was amazing. And it just, it, it started um, producing so many dreams and ideas and like, you know, happy endorphins in my brain. Like, it just creates so many possibilities in your head. And, you, and it's not like I needed to go talk to him. It was just about look at this guy following his dream and it's never, you know, you can do these things in your life at any time. And, and it was incredible. You got to go do it. So thank you for this challenge. <laughs> I love it. And I can't wait to see what you produce and here to support you. And it's going to be exciting. Let's give it up for Heather, you guys. Woo Woo Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome shares, you guys. Um, bring up more. Bring up more shares. And I really want that person who, for them, they can already mark off one thing on their checklist for this week. And by the way, I just want to say, Heather's example, for instance, that's a good example for uh, what I wanted you to choose this week because you might say, okay, it'll get me out of my comfort zone to speak on stage in front of over a hundred people. And it's a great goal. If that comes up, write it down. However, what I want for this week is like, what's that first step I could take towards that this week that will still get me out of my comfort zone and be in line with that. Sorry if I'm lagging again. Am I lagging? Yes. Am I lagging? No, just kidding. So <laughs> just trying to work with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah so what's that thing that small things right that can take us towards that and take us out of our comfort zone but we can still accomplish this week otherwise we'll have the excuse of oh wait there was no event i could speak at within a week so it's just what's that one thing maybe you could speak in front of your friends and that's the most embarrassing thing sometimes <laughs> or you know you know, just gather people together for like a, a group meeting and speak in front of them or sign up for an Einstein morning call and see like, y'all, can you push someone so I can speak this week? Um, whatever it may be. All right, guys. So um, great example. And I just wanted to say about the next share. What was I going to say about the next share? Um, Oh, yeah, those, those of you guys who can mark it off your checklist already, one share is like speaking here and sharing or sharing something that you wouldn't normally share about, but um, you think it would make a difference to who you want to become, um, a leader or someone who speaks up in their life or someone who shares. Um, I want you guys to share. Let's, let's encourage one person like that to step up who really, for them, stepping up right now is out of their comfort zone. In the line, who can find Come that? On. Well, let's put some music for encouragement, you guys. <laughs> No volunteers, and you know what that means. It's not an I spy wearing call, so I volunteer you guys. <laughs>
Yes, I'm really mm -hmm. sorry. And Anita, I saw a kind of stressed face about that. So guess what? <laughs> She's like, I regret coming on video. <laughs> Anita, can, will, will you go first? Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's Anita. So. Oh, Anita. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Pronounce it wrong. I say that this child, what you said today was encouraging. It's not too late. I can still make a difference. Um, it's 12 o'clock. This is what this is for. I just want to say this is exactly what this is for. So I really want you to vocalize that. My husband is very sick and we found out this past week. So it's hard to focus on anything else but that. So I feel behind. And confidential so I really can't talk about it with anybody I know I can still relate to that do you want to speak up and tell her what you want to tell her if you relate Ethan, I feel you but I can tell you you've got this girl Dig deep, do your best. We love you. We've got your back. And you've got this. Create a really empowering meaning about what the hell's going on in your life right now. You got this. Big old hug. Thanks. I know I do. And Anita, do you think it's a coincidence that we've got, you know, at least three women on this line right now that completely relate? in an exact way to what you're going through and are going through the exact same thing right here, right now. Do you think it's a coincidence that, you know, the universe brought you to this environment? I know there's, it's not a coincidence. Everything throughout what's been happening, as horrible as the situation is, it's just not deniable. I, I just need to focus more on that. So um, who here is willing to, regarding, regardless of who your accountability buddy is, who's willing to create a, a small group that um, can begin their mastermind a little early maybe and support Anita? I don't think we're not going to get a hand here that's raised. So Anita, I'll, I'll kind of handpick um, some people and um and make sure that you get some extra support this week and the reason i want to do that and um again it's it's hard to be in my position a lot of times and coach people when it comes to things like these where i just want to go to bed and just crawl up and and cry um because it really touches me and moves me and i can't even believe i have the privilege of being able to work with you this week and, and, and present to you something that can bring you forward. Um, but that's where my focus is while you're speaking and while people bring these things up, it's like, okay, great. How can we make this an opportunity? How can we make this an opportunity? It's all I'm committed to. It's all my head thinks about. And I hope that you um, really get out of this, what I'm meaning for you to get out of this. And that is that, what you're dealing with right now, as tough as it may be, this, this group and being on this challenge and being here on I Inspire is going to make the biggest difference for you in your life right now. And um, whatever it is that you go through, it makes sure, we make sure that you can still produce results within and even because of and thanks to this situation again as hard as it is to say it about these circumstances we've actually seen it happening here um there could be a strengthening in a relationship there could be a learning about yourself there could be a learning and dealing with your thoughts and who you are and managing that and all that good stuff the one thing i want to tell you is 
You're not behind. That's the one thing I want to tell you is you're actually a little bit ahead because this is what it's really about. This is, this is life. If I could throw at everyone like the biggest challenge on this challenge, they probably get the most out of it. And life has done that for you. So again, as painful as it is, this is how life works. And it's the most important that this is the time that you're working on this with us and you're getting the support that you're getting. Who agrees? Yes, I agree. Yes. So are you I'd, ready to take if it's okay? Yeah, go if, ahead. I'd like to say something. Yeah, Karen. This is Karen. Hi, Karen. And um, last year I went through two challenges with Yali. And during those challenges, I was in a place where things happened in my life that I could not talk to other people about. And I had to keep confidential and they were the worst possible things that could possibly have happened in my life. And they didn't only happen once they happened multiple times. And through the challenge, I was able to survive and get past it. And you were used a word focus. And what I learned that helped me to survive is that I could not allow myself any longer to focus on what I didn't want, what wasn't serving me and what had happened or was happening that I couldn't help. If I couldn't fix it, I couldn't focus on it. And I learned over the period of year through these challenges and through the groups and the masterminds and the accountability buddies, I learned how to change my focus and I survived and I got past it. And life happened, and life will always happen. But it's really important that you choose what you focus on and that you focus on what you do want, not on what you don't want. Thank you. Karen, thank you for that. Give it up for Karen for that, you guys. Karen, you're amazing, and you really are an example for that. And I'm so glad you're on this call right now um, to, to say that to some other people who are going through it right now. And I'd love your support in helping them get through it. And how, what a great privilege it is for you to have, you know, overcome that and come to a place where you can be a contributor to others so that they can do the same and, and have the same story on the next challenge for other people as well. I would love to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anita, can you see the, um, Anita, right? Anita, can you see the, the opportunity? Do you have... Do you have some excitement about what can, can happen here for you? Yes, definitely hopeful. Great. Who's inspired by that? Who wants to give it up for Anita? <laughs> yes. Huge heartfelt thank you for stepping up and sharing that. That is a step out of your comfort zone. This is an example to what's real and what's raw. And I you. She is going to get out of this a lot and more than many. So um, I'm just excited about that. I'm sorry we went over time a few minutes. I thought this was truly valuable and worth the time. So thank you guys for staying on and for being supporters and for being amazing. And this is what this challenge is really about. I'm just excited, honored, and so privileged to work with you guys with such a great bunch of people. And do me a favor. It's sometimes those that don't speak up and those who, um, who can share or don't show up to these calls that need it the most, that need the challenge the most. So if you're getting out of your comfort zone to speak, you can put it on your notes right now to check up on two, three people that you see that shared on the group and then stop sharing. Or if you want to reach out to me or to Becky, who's helping out a lot here, get a name or two of a, a person who on this challenge but hasn't really been showing up if you want to check up on them and see how they're doing and if you need your support that would mean the world to me so if you're in for it and you're proud of yourself for even just having that thought this week then unmute yourself and let's make some noise here for everyone be really guys my girl Showing up for being in the extraordinary people you are. Thank you for taking away from your time this Monday morning to show up here. Thank you for, you know, staying up late, waking up early, and doing whatever is required for you to show up in this life 
the way that you are. You're a superstar, a superstar. I love you, thank you, and thank you for everyone watching this later. Bye. Don't leave without celebrating. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.